Hello everybody, my name is Amir Denis Torrico and I'm currently a research assistant at the Faculty of Veterinary and Agricultural Sciences at the University of Melbourne in Australia. This research was part of the research project in an effort to reduce sodium, which is conducted by Dr. Witum Priyawiwaktu at the School of Nutrition and Food Sciences at Louisiana State University. Throughout this video, I will talk about the paper which is entitled Psychophysical effects of increasing oil concentration on saltiness and bitterness perception of oil in water emulsions. As we know, table salt or sodium chloride is the most frequently used food additive in the world. It makes food tasty, among other functions. However, consumers around the world consume too much salt, and that can be harmful to the health. Many scientific studies have linked elevated salt intakes with high blood pressure the leading cause of a stroke and coronary heart disease. To overcome this problem, research has been done to reduce sodium in foods, which includes the use of salt substitutes that do not contain sodium, but they impart uh, the salty taste, such as potassium chloride. However, this alternative has the drawback of impart bitterness taste and metallic aftertaste. Another way to reduce sodium is the modification of the food structure in order to increase the perceived saltiness which is the focus of our current paper. An emulsion is made by blending oil, which is a dispersed phase, in water, which is a continuous phase, with some emulsifier. Oil affects the taste perception by increasing the viscosity of an emulsion. It is uh, still unclear how oil actually affects the taste perception. Therefore, the main objective of this research was to study the saltiness and bitterness perception in oil in water emulsion systems. For the emulsion preparation, a solution of sodium chloride, caffeine, and potassium chloride was first mixed with water and gum and a texture modifier, then blended with the canola oil containing, containing an emulsifier. For this study, a spectrum descriptive analysis was used, which is, uh, which is the use of trained panels. Electronic tongue was also used. It's an analytical instrument that uses electrical sensors to convert potential differential in electrical signals that read it and recognize the taste quality. I will show you now the primary findings of our research. We observe in the following graphic that the emulsion had higher saltiness intensity value compared with the other solutions for both sodium chloride and potassium chloride. For bitterness, solution had higher bitterness intensity compared to the, that of the emulsion for caffeine. The following graph represents measurements made by the electronic thong. For sodium chloride and potassium chloride, the 20% of all emulsion had higher saltiness intensity compared to that of the solutions, which show a similar results compared to that of the descriptive panel. For bitterness solutions, they have a higher bitterness intensity compared to that of the emulsions for caffeine and potassium chloride. However, for potassium chloride, the taste and concentration had a decreasing effect on bitterness for the solution and emulsions. Reducing sodium is a big challenge for the food industry. Reducing sodium in diets will potentially decrease illness, save thousands of lives, and reduce medical expenses. This research will allow us to understand the behavior of saltiness and bitterness in oil and water emulsion systems, which can be applied for products such as mayonnaise, salad dressing, which are uh, consumed worldwide. Moreover, from this research, a table of saltiness intensity equivalence was created between sodium chloride and potassium chloride. So, we can choose the concentration of potassium chloride that will provide a similar salty taste than sodium chloride. This is useful for new product development. Further research has to be done to test binary and titrary interaction between different tastes, for example, uh, saltiness, bitterness, sourness, sweetness, and umami in emulsion systems. Besides, more research about the effects of emulsion viscosity, pH, and type uh, of oil has to be done in, in emulsion models. Lastly, we have to evaluate if the product is acceptable for the consumer and also we have to evaluate the purchase intent. I hope you will enjoy and learn about this video about sodium reduction in foods. And I hope if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me, contact me or contact the IFT. Thank you very much. See you later.